Now, the story of a Garfield Heights family home and a fierce battle over property taxes that could wind up in front of the Ohio Supreme Court. 3 News investigates Marissa Sines tells us about that fight and a family vowing not to give up. When you talk about what this home means to us, you would have to really think about my dad. Her dad was Roosevelt Wagner, a factory worker and father to Casino Voss and her seven siblings. My dad was a caring, loving person. And then even after life had some challenges, my father still, his mission was to keep us together. And he kept us together in this home. To us, it's worth everything. That's why we've been fighting. This fight dates back to 2011, when her father died at age 89, and the family home wound up in probate court. Along the way, property taxes went unpaid. Cuyahoga County, as it has since 2012, sold the land with others to a company named Woodcove. The move meant the family would now pay a whopping 18% interest on the 14,000 owed. The problem that I have with the county is once they sell it, it's like they wash their hands of it. To me, it's been like a mafia shakedown. The family worked out a payment plan with Woodcove, but that deal has been ignored after the land was sold to a company called TLOA. That agency tried tacking on $3,000 more. The voluminous online court docket shows the depths of the legal squabble. Most recently, TLOA attorneys asked a judge to enforce their demands for more money. When the judge refused, TLOA appealed. Last month, the 8th District Court of Appeals sided with the family. Greed. That's the only thing I can think of, is greed, because it's all about money. The facts were very straightforward and simple. Attorney Paul Bellamy argued the original deal with the family reached with Woodcove cannot be altered by TLOA. They can't change it, they can't undo it, they can't ignore it. While the home is appraised at just $50,000, legal fees have piled up for all sides. But to Kathina Voss and her siblings, money was never the issue. But he chose to raise his eight children in this home by himself. That's a man. That's a man, and that's what's important to us, is his memory, and that's what this is to us. TLO attorneys did not respond to our request for comment, and in case you're wondering, Cuyahoga County has collected over $116 million selling off delinquent tax bills since 2012. The county stopped selling lands to Woodcove two years ago and has not sold any delinquent tax bills since the pandemic outbreak. Russ. Okay, Marissa Science in the newsroom. Thank you.